All right, so I had something super exciting happen. I just picked the kids up from school and Maverick was asking if him and I could go on a mushroom hunt uh, when we got home. And I told him that was cool. And then about, yeah, that we would definitely do that. And then probably 30 seconds later, driving down the road out of the corner of my eye, I spot something orange and I found a lobster mushroom, a big one too. Look at this thing. Dad. Here, let's get this thing on the light so you can really see it. Oh yeah, I got one. So that is a lobster mushroom. And so this is actually two different mushrooms combined right here. So it starts with one mushroom that gets taken over by another mushroom. And uh, the base mushroom that makes this big shape is called a russula. And then the orange comes over it, and that's another type of fungus that just takes it over and starts eating it and turns a pretty bland russula mushroom into a very tasty lobster mushroom. Normally the russulas have these gills, but as you can see, the gills have been all just overtaken and turned into this like kind of hard orange lobster mushroom. That's hard! And... It sounds like wood. And this is huge. I've been watching some videos where people have been collecting these and describing them. And they've been half this size, if not even smaller. So this is a monster and a huge prize. Pretty excited. Yeah. What do you think about this lobster mushroom? Here, you want to hold it, Mev? It's heavy and hard. What's it sound like when you tap it? It sounds like wood. No, give it some give it some pats. Ooh, I can hear that. Yeah. Give it a few pats. <laughs> it's pretty solid. So super excited. Uh, I'll be the guinea pig and test it out, but I'm 99% sure this is a lobster mushroom. Alright, so I just wanted to reiterate how excited I am that this is just such a prized find. Like I've been foraging all kinds of different wild edible mushrooms around here lately and trying to identify them and testing them out. And so far I haven't gotten sick and tried all kinds of different things I've never tried before. And this thing has been on my bucket list. And this is such a good specimen. Yeah, I've been seeing these Russula mushrooms around here, which I've identified, but I've also read that they're kind of bland and not a very desired edible but once the russulas get overtaken by this orange fungus called hypermyces it just transforms a very bland mushroom into a very tasty mushroom that mm, smells like seafood and i watched a guy the other day make a lobster mushroom chowder with it and was just completely enthralled and just excited about the possibilities and I was wondering if they even popped off around here and I had seen that we had some russulas but I hadn't seen one a lobster mushroom yet and wasn't sure if they were even popping up in the area I can't believe I spotted this out the window of the truck on the way home from from school so excited um, you'll have to watch me later when I uh, t try it out <laughs> Definitely smells like seafood. All right, so I'm gonna start off with just trying a small piece just to make sure that I haven't uh, misidentified it. I've done some research, I looked through my books, watched a couple YouTube videos. Fairly certain this is it. I mean, it has all the signs, it smells like it. So I'm just gonna start with just a tiny piece and if it upsets my stomach, then it's a no-go. But if it doesn't, and I'm gonna eat the rest of this thing. Hey, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yep. right now I'm gonna, I'm just chopping it up, cutting the bad parts off of it. There's some parts on the bottom. I'm just gonna try a little piece and then I'm gonna pan fry it up in some butter and 
then I'm gonna dry the rest of it. And it says if you dry it, it even brings out a little bit more of the seafood flavor. So good thing I like seafood and edible with... mushrooms. He um, just put it on, on the stove. Are you excited about this, Mav? Yeah. I think dad's just gonna try no, me. this first piece. No, me too. Dad's gotta be the guinea pig though. No, me. Me too. I mean, from what I've been reading, there really isn't any dangerous look-alikes. So, like I said, I wouldn't be trying this if I wasn't very confident, but I guess not quite confident enough to give it to my young son yet. I'm gonna try it and just make sure that I don't get sick, but I have high hopes. So far, I've been trying all kinds of different mushrooms, uh, wild edible mushrooms that I picked out of the forest, um, like half a dozen different kinds that I've never seen in a store that I've looked up, I identified, and so far so good. Haven't gotten sick. I stay away from any of the ones that have real deadly lookalikes. Dad? See how it smells. Mmm. It even looks kind of like lobster. Yum. Dad, This smells so good. I'm getting really excited. Look at that. Lobster mushroom. Cooking. And you're about okay. to try it. I think it's about ready. Got a piece right there. Mmm. Oh, hold on. Wow, that tastes so good. Mm. Awesome. So let's uh, cut this up so I can dry it. So the way I've been drying them lately is just by hanging them up in front of this box fan right here on a piece of wire. Uh, this is actually a queen belete mushroom that I picked the other day. I was putting them uh, in the dehydrator and if I get enough to really fill the dehydrator and make it worth it, I'll do that. But when you're just getting a couple mushrooms at a time, uh, it's not really worth it to run the dehydrator. It's super loud. It takes energy and um, we run this fan anyways just because this A-frame gets a lot of heat trapped up um, up here. And so we keep this fan running and since I've got that, I just put these mushrooms on wire and let them dry like that. So we're going to hang up the lobster mushroom next to this uh, Queen Belit that I picked the other day. There you go. The mushroom that um my my dad that's drying right there that's the queen the bleed it's actually a, found a couple days ago and it said just yesterday but it's actually a couple days ago is that right he got me so there we go got my lobster mushrooms hanging here and down here getting blown on by the fan it's the bleed Queen Belit that I picked the other day. It's almost dry. And I'm stoked. <laughs>